tape is cooling and sucking it up into the backing, it's not letting it move. It's not letting it relax. It's not letting it come off. It's locking it in. It's bringing that tape tight right up into the backing and cooling it right away. So now, if I do this, it's not moving that at all. Feel how cool that is already. And I mean, all right, so we're going to go ahead and run, all right? Now, if I, like I said, Ah, there it is. All right, I'm start. I'm starting to run. Get back off. What I like about this stretcher is I can stretch it and lock it in as I need it. Lock my handle. All right. Now let's say it was it was overlapped here, and I did this. If I did this, it's not pulling it apart. All right, it's not pulling it apart at all. It's cooling it as it goes. All right, all right. Still got my pattern on. I gotta come in a little bit. Get it down. If I was to change direction on it, on the carpet I started in the middle, but let's say I started in the middle and changed direction, I'll do this. All right. You can just grab it, slide it up if you want. All right? All right? And I have a habit of picking it up, bringing it up, and dropping it just because I, li I like how it better. All right, so I let go of this, you'll see the pressure go back. So I drop back, jump, move back. If you got those little pin dots, this is a three inch pattern. If you got those little quarter inch, half inch pin dots, that little bit of a movement is a uh, Climbing over my wall, guys, because <laughs> I never, I can keep, that way I can keep looking at you instead of giving you my good side. Anyway. So I let, I let go of this, that gap came back, right? 
I'll go like this, get it up there, get it in. As soon as I put that on there, it's already starting to suck that glue up. It's already starting to see, uh, cool that glue. So if I move it now, that didn't go back. It stayed put. You know what I'm saying? Watch. Yeah, this I'm tying my shoe. <laughs> All right. All right. Yep. Yeah, set it there. Yep. All right. What do you think? Feel smooth? Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to take my hot glue gun there because I didn't get up talking I didn't get all the way melted to the wall so I would take my hot glue gun and I'd hit here look how feel how tight that tape is feel how tight feel how tight this tape feel how tight oh, yeah. tight mm -hmm. alright now we haven't You can do this much crank that close to a seam on a job? <laughs> See any peak? See any? Feel it. The hold? You gonna do it that quick on uh, you gonna do it that quick on a regular seam? What do you think? Huh? You know? All right, now what we're going to do, now, that's using, the, that's using your semen iron that you guys are using. All right? That, that, that's, that's using your semen iron that you guys are using every day. Right now, the hot, the hot seam. That's how I was able to get that pattern to match down there. Because, all right, I was cooling it as I was stretching it. It wasn't coming back on me. I could work. Start in the center, work both ways, and keep it cooled as I went. Because it was what, concrete? Can you stay nailed concrete? Sure you can. Is it a pain in the butt? Sure it is. How many times have you stay nailed a concrete floor, and you hit it with your stretcher, and you hear pop, pop, and what that, your stay nails are popping? Yeah. Happens all the time. We're in the real world, guys. Yeah. We're not, we're not uh, in, in, a, in, in a setting. We're in a real world. You know, you, you sit there and trying to, trying to stay nailed concrete floors, and where does most patterns go? And people's family rooms. Where are they at? In the basement. Now, you know. So, this is so quick. All righty.